Hello everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to download and play Fortnite without using the Epic Games Launcher. We'll be using a program called Legendary, and I'll guide you through the whole process. You can find the link to download Legendary in the description. First, head over to the Legendary GitHub page. Once you're there, click on Releases and download the second file listed, which is called Legendary Xes. After downloading, go to your Downloads folder and copy the Legendary Xs file. Next, navigate to your user directory on your computer. You can find this by going to your main drive, usually the C drive, then clicking on Users and selecting your username. Paste the legendary XCs file here. Now, you need to set legendary XCs to run as an administrator. Right click on the file, go to Properties, then Compatibility, and check the box that says Run this program as an administrator. Click Apply and then OK. After setting it up, open the command prompt by typing CMD in your search bar and selecting it. In the command prompt, type Legendary Auth and hit Enter. Make sure you're already logged into your Epic Games account in your web browser. The command prompt will give you a login code, which you need to copy and paste into your browser. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll be able to use Legendary to install Fortnite. In the command prompt, type Legendary Install Fortnite and press Enter. The installation process will begin. You can also customize your installation by downloading high textures, different languages, or the Save the World mode. If you don't want any extras, just press Enter to start installing the base game. During the download, you'll see information like how much data needs to be downloaded and the estimated time. You can monitor the progress here. When the installation is complete, Fortnite will be ready to launch. To launch Fortnite without using the Epic Games Launcher, go back to the Legendary X file. Right-click on it and select Send to Desktop to create a shortcut. Rename the shortcut to Fortnite, then right-click on it again, go to Properties and in the Target field type Launch Fortnite. Click Apply and OK. Now, whenever you want to play Fortnite, you can use this shortcut. To update Fortnite in the future, follow a similar process. Create another shortcut, name it Fortnite Update, and in the target field, type Legendary Update Fortnite. This will ensure you always have the latest version of the game. If you run into any issues during an update, such as the game not launching, this usually means there is an update available. Simply run the update command to install the latest version of Fortnite. For additional performance tweaks, you can use the NVIDIA control panel if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Open the NVIDIA control panel, go to Manage 3D Settings and select Fortnite from the program list. Make sure to set it to high performance to get the best possible experience. Also, make sure to disable full screen optimizations for Fortnite by right clicking on the game's executable file, selecting Properties, and going to the Compatibility tab. Once everything is set up, close the Epic Games Launcher completely before launching Fortnite through Legendary. This will help improve performance and reduce latency. You'll now be able to play Fortnite without needing the Epic Games Launcher at all. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.